and a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football I'm delighted to be able to report I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up it's Brentford up against Tottenham Hotspur yes thanks as always Derek we've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game the atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff and hopefully we're not disappointed And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the striker is Richarlison. And this confrontation is underway. Good looking sequence. Brentford doing well to regain possession. And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. A danger here as he runs at them. Oh, that's a fine save. And there's the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Madison. Spurs with the corner. Favouring the short one. Well, another corner following on from the last one. They favoured a short one here. Fine cross into the middle. But he took care of it defensively. And continues his run. Was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball.
Christian Nurgard. Johan Wiesa. And that was a very fine read. Bisuma. On the ball, Jensen. Well, he's given it away. Dejan Kulusevski. James Madison. Good movement. Struggling to keep the ball. Johan Wiesa. Able to skip past his man. Being egged on by the crowd. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Unable to keep the ball that time. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. A gift for any goalkeeper. Oliver Skip. Richarlison. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. But nothing comes of it. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession, but with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Indeed, and first they have to win back possession. And you need your defender to take charge. Son. Richarlison still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch Madison spot on with that tackle well, it'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball Da Silva and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time well they stopped them in their tracks and with that the first half draws to a close Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting the gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Nicely timed tackle. James Madison. Well, very effective play in possession. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Christian Nurgard. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, it came to nothing in the end.
James Madison. And on to Kurusevsky. Richarlison. Prepared to take on the shot. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Mbermo. Wissa has it. Josh Da Silva. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Simple catch, really. Kyung Min Son. Bisuma. Can they create something from here? Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Struggling to keep the ball. James Madison. Now Son. Madison with it. Couldn't keep it. Plenty of support here. Firing it towards goal. Can they stop it going in? Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. A chance to whip it in. <laughs> Terrific block. Maybe a chance for Spurs here to take the lead from a corner. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Short corner favoured. Richarlison. Bisuma. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. He's driven in the corner. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Substitution for Tottenham Number 71, James Madison, to be replaced by number 18, Giovanni Lasalso. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Spurs still on the attack with the minutes ticking away. Can they find a winner? Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. And possibilities here. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. Coming off the pitch. Number 38, Yves Bissouma. And over comes the corner. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And just five minutes remaining. Son. That's a routine take.
And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Making sure it didn't get past him. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Can they take advantage? Son, not to be advised, giving the ball away there. Must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. So, a top-level contribution from Hyung Min Son. How many times do we say that? Quite a lot is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal.